Hey YouTube. It's been a while since I did a video. Life kind of got in the way of any plans I had. So I've been uh, quite busy for a while, but we're going to continue on. And we're going to start working this beaver hide. So that when we're done, it'll go in that hoop. So what we're going to do now, is because he's all dry and not very workable, we're going to put him in a solution of soapy water. So, I'm just going to get him down in there. And this will take out any excess oils and also help clean the hair. And uh, we're going to let that soak until it's pliable. And then we'll start the tanning process. So I've got the bricks on there to make sure that it stays under. And you don't want to leave it like that too long. You just want to get it so that it's, it's pliable and workable. And uh, get the oils off. So when this is done, I'll take it out and uh, I'll spray it off with clear, clean water. And then we'll try to wring it out and we'll put it in the tanning solution. So for this one, the tanning solution that we're going to try is with alum and salt and when we get to that point I'll explain that to you and how I'm doing it and we'll see if it works okay so I've got this all pliable now as you can see you can bundle it up so what I'm gonna do Quick brush down, make sure there's nothing pouring in it. And it's looking pretty good. And then we're going to put it in the tanning solution. So from what I found, if you have a gallon of water, you want an ounce of alum and half an ounce of salt. So I've got four gallons here. Two ounces of salt, and four ounces of alum, and we'll stir that up until it's all dissolved. When you put it in this mixture, you can put it in for 24 to 72 hours. I'm probably going to go for about 48, because that's what uh, my timeline allows. And yes, I rinse this bucket out after I use the uh, soapy water. And I rinse the hide down get all the soap off. So when you have your hide in here, at least a couple of times a day you want to bring it out, stir up your mixture, and then set it back in. And if you leave it in too long, then what happens is it becomes it starts to rot and the, uh, the skin swells up so much that the hair will start to slip and you don't want to do that so it looks like everything's dissolved oh no not quite we'll get some 
Now you can get al alum at your local bulk food store. Uh, you can get it at your grocery store. A uh, buddy of mine said he got it at the drugstore. So it's uh, easily available. And then when we're done this type, we'll move on to brain tanning and or tanning from a bottle. I do have a bottle of tanning solution, but for the life of me I can't find it. I may have to get another one. Uh, so we'll have to we'll have to play it by ear. I do have some brains in the freezer to do the brain tanning. So now what we'll do is we'll take the hide it in the water, tanning solution, and we'll leave it for a while. Well, this has been sitting now roughly for almost 48 hours. hair slippage that's good now it's pretty pliable what we're going to do now is we're going to let it dry for a little while soften it. And then when we're done softening it, I'm going to come up with something to smoke it. So I'm just going to hang it here. I got some nails. You don't want it to dry too much because if it dries then you got to start from the beginning. But right now, like the hairs is all over the place, so we'll have to give it another brush down once we're done. And when you're softening it, all this dark will turn white. See how it turns white? So when we get to soften it, we'll come back and take a look. Well, it's dried a little bit now. So what we're going to do is we're going to soften it up. Now we've got to do this until it's dry. So we want to get the extra water off. it's going to take you to get through this process. And once you start, you can't stop because it'll harden. Then you got to start again. I know I've mentioned that, but everything I've seen, it's a big warning. So. I'm hopefully going to learn from other people's mistakes instead of learning from my own. Because it takes a little bit less time that way. <clears throat> so I've just got a piece of 2x2 two two here. And we're just going to start the process.
see it's starting to fluff up already. <clears throat> now let's try hitting this dark spot here. And see how that whitens up. whitening right up. Now you can do this process on just about anything. people doing it on bricks and I've seen people doing it on trees you want rough bark tree see how that's all coming up white and it's breaking up the fibers and you got to get every bit of it and then when you get around leg holes and stuff you got to be careful that you don't make a big tear leg holes here. You want to be careful there. The leather's pretty tough. And you don't necessarily have to do it that way either, right? Do it like this. You get more at once. Make sure you don't do it on the other side. That's doing the trick. I'll keep going and I'll show you what I got when I'm finished. Well, I've been at this for over an hour now. And we're getting there. It's drying. The fur is getting much more brown as opposed to the black look because of it being wet. There's still black underneath guard hairs and stuff, but it's much, much more brown now. Very kind of feels like a chamois and actually just ball it right up so a couple things that I've learned very quickly is that's not going to cut it that's great for on the edges and like where the legs are I can use that to get right in there but what you really want to do is you want to have something so you can go the whole length Like I said, I've been at this for over an hour now, and it's still not dry. It's damp. So I've still got some work to do. Plus, i got to get ready for work tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get this done before i got to do that. Otherwise, i got to start over. But it's, uh, it's tough. Leather's tough. Like, I've been working on this for over an hour and you can still take it and stretch it and come on to it so I do this every once in a while to try and get it to keep its shape and then I go back to that doesn't help that it's damp tonight. It's been drizzly all day. So that's kind of slowing things down as well. I should have started it earlier, but it was more important to spend the day with my kids and my wife. So this got put on the back burner. And I think it just got put on a little bit too late. 
But we'll see what happens. Very few will remember me doing this, but my kids will definitely remember me spending time with them, right? But it's, it's definitely drying now. Quite a process. This is something that takes hours and hours, obviously. And this is only a little pelt. Anyways, we'll bring you back when either this is done or uh, I gotta start over or we start smoking.